position there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. And it is incomplete. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. And Detroit getting set to go now. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. On first and ten, here's Carr, completing it to the right side, Johnson. A gain of six there on first. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Smith catches left side. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age. But then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So he splits the uprights there, and I would imagine it's nice as a kicker. Right when it leaves your foot, you know it's good. Yeah, it's kind of like a golfer that picks up his tee after a nice drive without even watching it land. Solid analogy. I like it. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And here come the Bills. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Bree's going to throw. And the reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. A final shot before half for Breeze. His throw incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But and this is a do real I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. 
a lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And quickly, they get to the line. Now Breeze. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And the O-line will have to do a better job protecting here on third down after that sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block it. Nine yards on the play and a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. They get 31 yards that time. And the Bills are going to have it first and goal. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. That one intended for Anquan Bolden, and it's third down. Play action. Breeze. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Paul Puzlesny. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And the play clock's running down. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he's got some space here. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. All right, here we go. Car to throw on second down. Incomplete. The wideout Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Flush to his right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. Now fourth down. Here's Drew Kayser now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off by Paul Krause. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play <laughs> -play guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. So this brings up a second and two. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Breeze throwing on second down. Throwing middle, 
but it's incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Brees looking to throw on third and two. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. In a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is that... down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Breeze to throw again. Looking for Bowman and it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So out now come the Lions. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Now Carr throwing on second down, escaping the pressure right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. And not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. To throw his car. This is Johnson. He's got it. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. Their dangerous wide receiver. Turn up the right. Babe, show me what you like. Hey, you put money, I can match it for you. I'm in this in all white fit, looking like I'm breaking all them zippers on a jacket on you. He got a thing for a Latin. 